United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Notice of the meeting to be held by the Township of Ocean Board of Education on Tuesday, June 19, 2018 at 8 p.m. has been provided in accordance with the requirements of Chapter 231, Public Law 1975. Notice of the meeting was posted on the bulletin board in the lobby, lobby of the Administration Building 163, Monmouth Road, Oakhurst, New Jersey, all Ocean Township District Schools and Transportation, and the School District website on January 3rd, 2018. Notice of the meeting was transmitted today to the Hasbury Park Press on January 3rd, 2018, and to the Coaster newspaper on January 3rd, 2018. Notice the meeting was filed with the Municipal Clerk, Township of Ocean, and the Municipal Clerk, Village of Lock Arbor, on January 3rd. Mr. Jansen, please call the roll. Mr. Clayton? Here. Mr. Dietrich? Here. Ms. Fuller? Here. Uh, Mr. Hodge? Here. Dr. Marshall? Here. Ms. McGovern? Here. Ms. Parlamis? Here. Mr. Stupe? Can I be with us tonight? And Mr. Paludis? Here. Okay, we have eight members present. We have a quorum. Thank you, Mr. General. At this time, we'll have our student representative. Hi, I'm Emily Jordan. We're going to talk about the high school bulletin and our sports team. Thank you. The junior prom is hosted at our middle school on May 19th with incredible decorations from staff members, parents, and the student class officers. On May 22nd to the 30th was park testing. Then senior prom was on May 31st at Addison Park. The school organized post prom at the St. George Greek Church. On June 4th, the seniors had their picnic across the street from our high school. A student production by a senior, Shelby the County, by us was on June 7th, 8th, and 9th. Student exams have started today with block one and two white days. And for the sports, there's so little to talk about, but the um, the track team for the 4x16 boys made to nationals, and then they broke the school record in really hard conditions. Mm -hmm. Emily, I thank you for your service no, to the you. board and coming to all the time. meetings with us. You, you've kept us informed throughout the school year, and uh, you know, we'd be missed, but if you want to come join us in the summer, you're more than yeah. welcome to. You know where we meet. <laughs> I think I will. All right. <laughs> well, enjoy we have time. meetings on the beach. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Thank you very much, Emily. No Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. At this time, uh, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Spanklitz for the superintendent's report. Okay. Well, if it's okay, I'm going to move do. over here. Give me a microphone. It can be a little bit scary. But for, for you all, not for me, for you all. Um, but tonight is one of our, our, our most favorite nights of the year because um, we have um, uh, some students that we're going to be honoring tonight, but also uh, in a sort of a bittersweet time, we have our, a number of our retirees who are here this evening. So while it's uh, certainly um, in one way very sad for us that a number of folks here will be leaving us, I'm sure it's very nice for you all to know that um, you don't have to listen to me anymore. Not that you ever stop, <laughs> but you know, that's okay. So first up though, we're gonna talk with our students, which uh, which is, uh, and, and honor our students, which is uh, fantastic. So I know we have some of our administrators here also who uh, have some certificates. So first up, uh, we have a high school and a, um, a middle school student. So uh, Allison couldn't be here, but we'll, uh, we'll announce uh, Allison and then uh, also Ethan. So Alice, Allison Stoopy, a 10th grade student, at uh, uh, our high school and Ethan Morris, uh, an eighth grade student at the intermediate school was chosen by the Italian American Committee of Education, the otherwise known as the IACE, as recipients of their summer program in Narni, Italy. They will be going to Italy this summer. Uh, this scholarship uh, trip allows the students to study Italian in Italy because where else would you study it down here? Uh, both uh, Allison and Ethan had to submit a letter of reference from a teacher or an application to the video project. And that's uh, Sue Fisher at the Intermediate School and uh, Valerie Anderson at the high school. So Allison Sue, couldn't be here this evening, but I think Ethan is. And if Ethan's here, he can come on up. Uh, we'd like to see you <laughs> You know, Ethan, I've heard your name way too many times this year because our children, you know, my son and you share classes together, so 
It's like, oh, I'm on Xbox with Ethan. Playing Fortnite with Ethan. One of the stipulations is the supervisor has to go. Supervisor has to go. And the superintendent. See, when you said supervisor, you're the superintendent. <laughs> Okay, so next up, every year, the Count Basie uh, uh, Theater uh, offers the Count Basie Awards, and this program began back in 2005. It's really sort of the Tony Awards of, of Monmouth County for high school uh, theater programs. So each year, the Basie's uh, Education Department forms an evaluation committee uh, of theater lovers, performers, and educators who then attend and score upwards of uh, 50 local productions. So uh, this year, Ethan Black, a senior uh, at Ocean Township High School, won the Basie Award for Best Supporting Male Role in a Musical for his role as Mr. McAfee in Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, and then, so that was Al McGarity, and then we have uh, Lynette Worth uh, Worthley, uh, Worthline, sorry, and uh, of course Dawn uh, Kasuba, who we're here is the, uh, is the uh, principal. So is um, Ethan here? Ethan, yes. Ethan. There he is. academic awards here at the board because we do have an athletic awards night every year, particularly for seniors. But every once in a while, an athlete comes along that achieves such outstanding uh, um, uh, accomplishment in, in one particular area that we wanted to bring that athlete forward to be recognized by, by the full board. Uh, so tonight, uh, this young man uh, in the area of wrestling um, was at, I guess, uh, it was the, um, just let me give you a few highlights here, 146 and 13 record, most wins in school history, four-time district champ, that was the first ever in, in our, uh, in our uh, district, two-time region six champ, 2017 138-pound state champ, 2017 state outstanding wrestler, 2018 138-pound state runner-up, three-time state qualifier, 2018 short conference champ, 138 pounds, winner of five holiday opening season tournaments, including the Mustang Classic two times, the Kearney Tournament, the Mottawa Tournament, the Delaware Valley Tournament. Um, there really hasn't much you, you haven't done in the area of wrestling there, young man. Uh, so great work, and that's four years, and if I'm not mistaken, heading on to Rutgers University to continue your wrestling career among your other, you know, all the academic pursuits that you will follow. And uh, that's Jake Banner, so congratulations. <laughs> sponsors a uh, student leadership conference called the Dare to Dream Student Leadership Conference. And um, uh, Ocean Township High School students have always been very well represented at this conference. But for the last couple years, we've been honored with the ability to offer the keynote speaker. Uh, we had the, the keynote speaker last year, and once again this year, we had the, key, the keynote speaker. And our, our, uh, our representatives do an amazing job and uh, really um, inspired all of the participants of this conference. So this occurred uh, down at Stockton University uh, uh, on May 14th. And as I said, it's uh, sponsored by the Department of Education. It focuses on student strength, empowerment, and the opportunity for success 
in spite of learning challenges. So this year's uh, keynote speaker was uh, Tyler Murray. Tyler? Congratulations. And if I'm not mistaken, Tyler is going to honor us and share his speech this evening. Is that accurate? Awesome. We look forward to hearing it. Hello, uh, my name is Tyler Murray, and uh, obviously I attend Ocean Township uh, High School. I grew up in Howell, New Jersey, and I attended Gribbling Elementary School um, until the third grade. Uh, I uh, I'm here today to teach you like how I grew as a person and some methods I've used. Uh, when I was younger, many things had occurred to my family and I. I've I have very few <laughs> few memories of this of these times, but some were good and some were horrible. But my best friend was my grandmother, who passed away uh, from cancer during this time. I remember going to church and turning on the candles and praying uh, for her to get better and being able to go back to her house and play. When she passed, it felt like everything decided to go downhill. My mom got a restraining order against my dad due to domestic reasons, forcing him to leave at that, forcing him to leave. At that age, I didn't understand why two people who I love, uh, who loved me, had left. One bit. <laughs> One being my grandmother and the other being my father. After that, I never really got to see my mom. Um, I never really got to see my mom too much because she was working because of all the bills because all the bills were getting high. Um, so she had to work all the time, and my oldest brother had to take care of us. One of the good things that came out of this mess was my only sister, uh, Emily who attends uh, Dow Avenue, or no, Intermediate School, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> my mother later met a man named Gary, who's here today, um, supporting me, <laughs> uh, who she loves, and he loves her too. He allowed, uh, he allowed us into his home and took care of us. I then moved to Ocean and attended Dow Avenue Elementary. I was shy. <laughs> I was really shy. The only memory, the one memory I always think about is the time when I was, I was just alone kicking a rock. I had my head down thinking about all the friends, all my friends from my old school. I felt sad and alone in this new school. I thought maybe I would never, I would never have any friends. I'll never forget this one kid named Matt came up to me and asked me if I wanted to play kickball with him and his friends. I slowly started to have more friends in Ocean. I met, I met my best friends, Mitchell and Angela, in the fifth grade. I met someone my freshman year who I cared about, and uh, it, uh, I opened up to her, and uh, I felt secure and safe. I felt really happy. like. I don't know how to describe it. It was, I haven't felt that happy since my grandmother was around. It's probably the best way I can describe that feeling. <laughs> and uh, I later had to leave her for personal reasons. <laughs> I developed an eating disorder. Uh, <laughs> I went to school one day and thought the day, <laughs> I went to school one day and throughout the day, I was in so much pain during lunch. I went to the nurse and told told her I had a stomach ache. Uh, she called my mother and gave me. She called my mother, <laughs> and uh, I was able to leave, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and uh, when my mom picked me up, I remember basically just opening up to her and telling her like I didn't feel good. Uh, we went to the hospital. I remember the IV giving me fluids. Um, the doctors running all the doctor running his tests and everything. Uh, everything came back normal. He called.
called for someone to come down and assess me mentally. I told the woman everything she told she told my mother and suggested I seek uh, help. Um, she gave my mother the emergency services contact number. Um, this this felt like this felt like my lowest point in my life. I felt so ashamed of making my mother worry. Uh, emergency emergency services came to my house to take to talk to me <laughs> to talk to me the day after. Or so I talked to them for about an hour. Later on in the year, I found a new way to cause pain. I found a new way to cause pain to myself by breaking off a piece of plastic and digging into my skin. Uh, my mom called called them again, and uh, they said I should seek therapy. I started therapy about two years ago. Um, I've had about four therapists. Um, I'm still going because it helps me. I've learned many skills from them and my teacher teachers over the past two years. Um, I've learned how to handle my depression and anxiety. One method I learned from my therapist was the power of music. Um, I used to listen to sad music when I felt upset. It only put me in a darker place. When I listen to, now I listen to happy music. It obviously picks me up. Um, video games, another good play. Like, get out of your head. <laughs> um, TV, movies, anything really. Uh, I used to have a negative mindset. I believed the world was against me and no one cared for me. This was not true at all because my family and friends cared about me. Now I can see they care a lot about me. I'm fortunate to know this, and I want everyone else to know. No matter what you think or do, your family and your best friends care about you. I'm not done growing myself, but there is a light at the end of the dark tunnel. The more you accept, uh, more you accept help, the better it gets. I'm not angry about what happened to me. I'm actually happy this happened. It helped me grow as a person and learn new things about myself. These events have molded me into the person I'm, I've become, and they will they only drive me to help others that are suffering uh, through similar situations. I plan to enter the field of social science because of this drive to better others' lives, help guide them onto the right path. Um, the only thing I would tell myself two years ago is not to give up and to look and to look up and not down because there's there are always, <laughs> there are always going to be people who care about you. yourself as you just did. Tremendous respect. Um, bless you. That's, that's tremendous. And so thank you for touching us tonight and inspiring us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for sharing your speech with us. Thank you. Um, okay. Moving we'll right along. And, and so now we get to our retirees. And um, tonight, um, the group of people that I'm going to uh, announce have a collective 502 years of service to the students of Ocean Township, which is in and of itself an outstanding um, accomplishment. And also, um, if, if it was just plain service, it would be one thing, but it was uh, selfless and um, just incredible uh, dedication to the children of this township. So um, before anything, we thank you for everything that you've ever done uh, for the students of Ocean Township. From I know every, if I speak on behalf of the board, every single person here, um, we would not be what we are without you. 
So thank you so much, and we will miss you dearly. Um, there were some folks who uh, could not make it tonight, so I'm going to read just their names, and then um, I'll get to the folks. And we have a nice little plaque. Um, so we hope you take it home and cherish it. And it could be one side of like a, you know, like a book thing, or you know, hang it on the wall. It would be good. But then it's very nice. So, um, so these are in alphabetical order uh, from the folks who couldn't make it. Uh, Judy Caminell, who's a secretary here in this building, worked in the Office of uh, Special Education for 17 years. So we thank Judy. Joanne Coble from Dow Avenue, 18 years as an elementary teacher over there. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, guy perhaps you've heard of, Larry Castula, uh, building, your building principal from uh, a TLS, um, 24 years in the district. Pam Larson, a bus driver, uh, here for 23 years. Eileen Mervine, science teacher at the Intermediate School, 26 years. Alan Parker from the Intermediate School, something going on with that Intermediate School. Um, let's get that schedule. Um, Alan Parker, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist, sorry. Uh, Alan Parker, 42 years as a, as a technology teacher. Beth Paterno uh, from Guatemala, special education teacher, 32 years. And uh, Ruda, uh, Rudy uh, Waldinger, who uh, retired and went uh, off uh, out of state, was a tech, uh, uh, a tech, uh, level uh, one tech for us, was here for three years. Uh, but, uh, you know, let's give a round of applause to those folks. <laughs> we did get them plaques, by the way. We just don't have them right here. Mm -hmm. We'll get them to them. So, all right. So now for the folks uh, who are able to come tonight, and we're so thankful that you're here. Uh, when you come up, if you could, if you could come up and get your plaque and just remain standing, and we'd love to take a group picture of, of everyone. So that would be great. So first and foremost, and, I, and, and you know, the turnaround on this one was really, you know, this was quick. And I, I looked at Debbie Amato to, to who made this happen pretty quickly. But, um, you know, and, and once again, I read all of these names with, uh, uh, with, with happiness and sadness. So uh, 20 years as a math teacher at, at the high school, Pat Amato. Uh, <laughs> Um, 20 years as a guidance counselor uh, at the intermediate, uh, excuse me, at Dow Avenue. I always said, you know, you know when I say Dow Avenue, it's Ocean Township Elementary, right? I just, but we have three elementary schools, so. Um, so, uh, Julia Brent Hall, Julia. <laughs> Thirty-three years at Wayside, Wayside Rocks, by the way. Um, <laughs> and the elementary classroom. Just think about that for a minute. I mean, really, any or any. Thirty-three years in an elementary classroom. I mean, that's unbelievable, right? Um, Cindy Bach. Cindy. <laughs> I, I think that's a, that's a badge of honor. You know, it's it's not a it's not a bad thing. Uh, so 29 years uh, school social worker uh, over at Dow Avenue, Shannon Sheen. school bus? <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, 25 years is a lot of time to be driving a school bus. But, but Linda Coakley, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Specialist once again at Ocean Township Elementary and MSD.
20 year, uh, 21 years special ed teacher over at Wanamasa and Marie Gomes. Education teacher over at the Township of Ocean Hill uh, Intermediate School, uh, Marsha Angel. Fourteen years, and every time I dial four zero 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 here, one of my elementary school. Uh, of course, I wasn't doing that for 14 years, but she was. 14 years as the um, front office secretary over there, Diana Polito. Diana. special services, person who's been uh, one of my arms over the last couple of years, uh, Dr. Denise Richard. <laughs>
Oh, well, of course, they want to get healthy. Right. 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 Series of motions to be read by the committee chairpersons. All motions have been discussed at recent public workshop sessions. Some motions have been approved at the public work session, and the minutes from the approved items are on the back table. All motions are posted on the bulletin board in the rear of the auditorium, along with the reference list and attachments. At this point in the meeting, we will now conduct the first two public comment sessions. The first session will be open for the public comments on agenda items only. The second session will be at the end of the meeting and can be on any topic. Would anyone from the public at this time like to make a comment on any agenda item? Thank you. First action item up, the approval of minutes. Madam Vice President. 
Yes, I'd like to move to approve uh, meeting minutes dated June 12, 2018, both work and executive session minutes. Do I have a second? Second. Ken? Mr. General? <laughs> That's okay. I answered to both. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you, Mrs. Parlamas. The approval of bills, Mrs. Fuller. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the approval of the following paid items, which total $7,090,723.05 as detailed below. Can I have a second? Second. Mr. Chairman. Okay, Mr. Clayton. Yes. Mr. Dietrich. Yes. Mrs. Fuller. Yes. Mr. Haddon. Yes. Dr. Marshall. Yes. Mr. McGovern. Yes. Mr. Perlamas. Yes. And Mr. Plutus. Yes. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Mrs. Fuller. Thank you. Approval of policies. Mr. Janero. Okay, tonight before the board, we have a second and final reading of uh, policy uh, 511.01. It's a tuition for non resident students. So I'll just open it up if there are any further discussion uh, on the policy. Okay, being none. Anyone have any questions? Any, or any other? No, it's been discussed twice. It's been, so just any final speak now or no. Uh, so so then all we need is a motion and then motion. a second. Motion. Okay, Mr. Dietrich in a second. Second. Ms. Fuller. Okay. Mr. Clayton. Yes. This is for the policy 511.01. Mr. Clayton is a yes. Mr. Dietrich. Yes. Ms. Fuller. Yes. Mr. Hodden. No. Dr. Marshall. Yes. Mr. McGovern. Yes. Mr. Parlamas. Yes. And Mr. Palutis. Yes. Okay, the motion carries 7 1. Thank you, Mr. General. Financial Management and Resource Services. Mrs. McGovern. Yes, I have 17 motions this evening. I'll be quick. <laughs> As a fact. Number one, the following resolution certifies the budget balances at the end of May were adequate to pay all remaining obligations of the 17 18 school year and that the account groupings required by the state have adequate balances. The board is also certifying that the independent reports of the treasurer and business office are in agreement. Number two, the following motion is to transfer monies from one account in the budget to another and provide the adequate balances referred to in the first motion. Number three is the security drill report for May 2018 as listed. Number four is I move to approve the following tuition contract for an MBE McKinney Vento eligible homeless township promotion student attending Tinton Falls School District. Number five, move to, move to approve a resolution with the Alliance of, for Competitive Energy Services for cooperative natural gas purchasing, I'm sorry, pricing. This is a cooperative purchasing agreement with other New, New Jersey school districts. The cooperative pricing resolution is effective, is effective from date of adoption through May 2023 as per the attached. Number six, move to approve that pursuant to PL 2015, Chapter 47, the Township Promotion Board of Education intends to renew, award, or permit to expire the following contracts previously awarded by the Board of Education. These contracts are, have been, and will continue to be in full compliance with all the state and federal statutes and regulations. In particular, New Jersey Title 18A, colon 18, established ESQ, NJAC, Chapter 23, and Federal Uniform Administrative Requirements, 2CFR, Part 200, as attached. Number seven, I move to approve the prices of the student lunch program for the 2018 school year as follows. Breakfast, $1.75, <coughs> and adult meal will be $3.85. These above prices would represent no increase from last year and continue a tiered pricing approach. The price will be variable depending on the food cost of the meal served. Number eight, move to approve the following therapy contracts to Invo Healthcare. Number nine, move to approve the submission of the grant application for the 2018 safety grant through the NJSIG MOC SSIF subfund for identi identified safety and security facility upgrades in the amount of $31,899.96 for the period of July 1st, 2018 through June 30th, 2019. Number 10, move to approve the Township of Ocean District and Transportation Joint Chair Agreement with Eaton Town Board of Education and the Township of Board of Education to act as host of the follows for Children's Center of Monmouth County. Number 11, I move to approve the Township of Ocean District and a transportation jointure agreement with the Shore Regional High School with the Township of Board of Edu Ocean Board of Education to act as host for the follow follows for the Hawkswood School for the ESY program as well as their school year. Number 12, move to approve the Township of Ocean District and a 
Transportation Joint Chair Agreement with West Long Branch Board of Ed and the Township Promotion Board of Ed to act as host for the Harbor School ESY and the Harbor School for the school year. 13, move to approve the California Casualty Thomas R. Brown Athletics Grant Award in the amount of $1,000 for the Intermediate Track School Track, Field, and Cross Country Program. Number 14, transfer of unexpended appropriations and or excess revenue to Capital Reserve. Whereas NJSA 18A colon 21-2 and NJSA 18A colon 7G-13 permit a Board of Education to establish and or deposit into certain reserve accounts at a year end. And whereas the aforementioned statutes authorize procedures under the authority of the Commission of Education which permit a Board of Education to transfer anticipated excess current revenue or unexpended appropriations into reserve accounts during the month of June by Board Resolution. And whereas the Township Promotion Board of Education wishes to deposit anticipated excess current revenues and or unexpended appropriations into a capital reserve account at year end. And whereas the Township Promotion Board of Education has determined that up to 200000 is available for such purposes to transfer. Now, th therefore, be it resolved that the Township Promotion Board of Education that it hereby authorizes the district school business administrator to make this transfer consistent with all applicable laws and regulations. Number 15, move to approve a contract for assessment evaluation services of a special education student with MJ, I'm sorry, MG Behavior Consulting, LLC. The contract for services will be anticipated 26 and a half hours at $260 per hour for an estimated cost of $6,890. Number 16, move to approve the use of facilities according to the attached list date of June 19, 2018 as attached. And number 17, move to approve the salary for the 2018-19 school year for the following school doctor, Dr. Suda Garla from Atlantic Medical Associates. May I please have a second? Second. Ken? Mr. Clayton? Yes. Mr. Dietrich? Yes. Ms. Fuller? Yes. Mr. Hobby? Yes. Dr. Marshall? Yes. Ms. McGovern? Yes. Ms. Parlamas? Yes. Mr. Hoods? Yes. Okay, the motion's carried. Thank you, Mrs. McGovern. That was a lot of motions there. Instruction, education, and student activities. Dr. Marshall. Thank you, Mr. Flutus. Uh, we have 11 motions for consideration this evening. Item number one is a motion to approve the attached memo dated June 15th regarding staff professional development activities. Item number two is a motion to approve the request of Colleen Bachman, a graduate student at Monmouth University, for, to fulfill 300 internship hours during the period of September through December 2018 under the supervision of Summer Kabarakis. Item number three is a motion to approve the settlement agreement and release for student 17-18-04. Items number four, five, and six are motions to approve an alternate placement for students uh, numbered 72415, 77547, and 71841 respectively into the Monmouth County Vocational School District's Class Academy Alternative High School Program for the 2018-19 school year. Uh, yearly tuition for the seats are 6040 per student. Item number seven is a motion to approve the request of Dr. Pfeiffer Rixley, Assistant Professor of Biology at Monmouth University, and one of her students to present a workshop on DNA to the fourth grade science classes at Wanamassa, Wayside, and Ocean Township Elementary Schools in October 2018. Item number eight is a motion to approve a student observer for the 2017-18 school year in accordance with the attached memo dated June 15th. Item nine is a motion to approve out-of-district placements for the 2018 summer extended school year special education program in accordance with the attached memos dated June 15th. Item number 10 is a motion to approve transportation for the 2018 summer out-of-district extended school year special education program in accordance with the attached memo dated June 15th. And item number 11 is a motion to affirm the following harassment, intimidation, and bullying incident summary reports for the 2017-18 school year. These are HIV reports number nine presented June 12th and HIV report number 10 presented June 19th. Can I have a second, please? Second. Okay, Mr. Clayton. Yes. Mr. Dietrich. Yes. Mrs. Fuller. Yes. Mr. Hatt. Yes. Dr. Marshall. Yes, to all items except numbers two and seven, uh, which I refuse myself regarding Monmouth University. Mrs. McGovern. Yes. Mrs. Perlamas. Yes. And Mr. Plutus. Yes. Okay, the motion is carried. Thank you, Dr. Marshall. 
Legislative Committee. Mrs. Fuller. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a quick update for those who have been following. Um, an alternative budget, state budget passed through to the legislative committees today that include um, revisions to school funding formula that could result in some cuts for our district. So those are moving for a full vote in both houses on Thursday. So we'll be monitoring and advocating on that as much as we can. Thank you, Mrs. Fuller, for that update. Negotiations Committee, Mr. Hammond. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you, Mr. Haddon. Personnel, <laughs> Mrs. Parlamas. Yes, Mr. President. I have 24 motions this evening. First, I'd like to move to approve the revisions to the following job description, Supervisor of English and Supervisor of Science. Second, I'd like to move to approve an unpaid family leave of absence without the continuation of benefits for Capital Wilms, instructional assistant at the high school. Third, I'd like to move to approve an unpaid family sure. leave of absence for Jennifer Fiedler, math teacher at the School. Number four, I'd like to move yeah. to approve an unpaid yeah. family leave of absence for Kelly DiNapoli, instructional assistant at Wayside. Number five, I'd like to move to approve a revision to an unpaid family leave of absence for Kathleen Thorson, special ed teacher, one Massa School. Number six, I'd like to move to approve a revision to an unpaid family leave of absence for Janine Sterner, special ed teacher at the Intermediate School. Number seven, I'd like to move to approve clerical substitutes as listed. Number eight, I'd like to move to approve custodial substitutes as listed. Number nine, I'd like to move to approve instructional assistant substitutes as listed. Number 10, I'd like to move to approve the following substitute security guards as listed. Number 11, I'd like to move to approve substitute teachers as listed. Number 12, I'd like to move to approve fall coaching assignments as listed. Number 13, I'd like to move to approve the following summer student custodial assistants as listed. Number 14, I'd like to move to approve the retirement of Patricia Amato, math teacher at the high school. Number 15, I'd like to move to approve the resignation of Sophia Elbacher, language arts teacher at the intermediate school. Number 16, I'd like to move to approve the resignation of Sophia Elbacher as stage crew advisor at the intermediate school. Number 17, I'd like to move to approve a revision to the start date for Ms. Jennifer Zona, assistant superintendent of schools, special services. That will um, actually be July 16, 2018. Number 18, I'd like to move to approve the following bus drivers and bus aides as listed. Number 19, I'd like to move to approve the revised contract be offered to uh, Ian Schwartz, Education Technology Teaching Specialist at the Intermediate School to Supervisor of English Grade 6 through 12 at the high school. Number 20, I'd like to move to approve child study team employment for the summer as listed. Number 21, I'd like to move to approve the following as substitute for instructional assistance as listed. This is for the special ed summer extended school year program. Number 22, I'd like to move to approve the following as substitute teachers for special ed summer extended school year program as listed. Number 23, I'd like to move to approve the following students as camp counselors for the Spartan school programs as listed. And number 24, I'd like to move to approve a resolution commending the following staff members who are retiring from the Township of Ocean School District in appreciation of their years of dedicated service as listed. Mr. Gannon, can you please call the roll? Did, did we get a second? second? Oh, I'm sorry. Second. Okay. Uh, Mr. Clayton? Yes. Mr. Dietrich? Yes. Mrs. Fuller? Yes. Mr. Hatt? Yes. Dr. Marshall? Yes. Mr. McGovern? Yes. Mr. Parlamas? Yes. And Mr. Paludas? Yes. Okay, the motion is carried. And in our presence this evening is our new supervisor of English, 6 through 12, Mr. Ian Schwartz. Thank you. Uh, Ian, you've been an English teacher here with us for eight years, yes? Eight or nine? Uh, seven. Or seven. <laughs> seven. Time just flies, doesn't it? Uh, but the one thing I t tend to notice, and you know, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, is when sometimes when we have a, a new supervisor that we're approving when they come, they always seem to sit on that side of the room, right? So I, I, you have to pick yourself up now and move to that side. Of the room. It's almost like a tassel turn, right? So you've taken the leap. So I just want to say hi even more. There you go. So, actually, you can sit wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Congratulations to you. Thank Welcome you. Here. Hey. All right. Thank you, Madam Vice President, for the 
personnel readout. Public relations, Mr. Dietrich. Thank you, Mr. President. I have five items this evening. Number one is the school board election. The school board candidacy kit has been released by the New Jersey School Boards Association. Petitions are due to the Monmouth County Clerk by July 30th, 2018 at 4 p.m. for the November 6th, 2018 Board of Education member election. Uh, further information can be found at www.oceanschools.org. Second, donation of backpacks and school supplies for the 2018-2019 school year. Move to approve the request of Cedar Village at Ocean, an over 55 community, to donate backpacks filled with school supplies, pencils, crayons, pens, notebooks, etc., to needy children grades K to 5 in our district. This is an entire community project and is titled Stuff the Bus. Good stuff. Third, move to approve the Board of Education hereby authorizes the Superintendent of Schools, Board Secretary, and Board Attorney to develop a shared service agreement with the Township of Ocean Municipality regarding the implementation of special law enforcement class three officers in the Township of Ocean Schools. Fourth, bring, your, bring back your backpack project. Move to approve the request of Emma Borowski, a freshman at Communications High School, to collect gently used backpacks to bring to Bradley Elementary in Asbury Park or to give to students in need in Ocean Township. This program was started by Emma's older sister seven years ago. On June 20th, 2018, Emma will bring bins to each of our three elementary schools and to the intermediate school. Students in those schools who wish to donate may drop their backpacks into the bins. Bins will be picked up on the last day of school. Lastly, Mock Arbor students. Resolution permitting students domiciled in the village of Lock Arbor to continue to attend the Township of Ocean School District. Whereas Township of Ocean and the village of Lock Arbor have been part of the same consolidated school district for over 60 years dating back to 1957 and whereas school aged children residing in the village of Lock Arbor have always attended the Township of Ocean School District and whereas in 2015 the village of Lock Arbor petitioned the Executive County Superintendent of Schools for a recommendation as to the viability of the establishment of a separate Lock Arbor Board of Education, and whereas the Executive County Superintendent of Schools denied that request, and whereas the village of Lock Arbor proceeded undeterred by this denial and sought permission from the Commissioner of Education to withdraw from the Township of Ocean School District and to form their own independent school district, and whereas the Acting Commissioner of Education granted that request on December 22, 2016, and whereas the Executive County Superintendent of Schools set a special election date of April 4, 2017, where only the voters of the Village of Lock Harbor would vote as to whether to withdraw from the Township of Ocean School District and form its own independent school district. And whereas, due to the timing of this public vote, it was clear that the Lock Harbor School District would not have a tentative budget in place by the statutorily required deadline, and whereas it was unclear whether the Lock Harbor School District could have a final budget adopted by the statutory deadline, and whereas the Township of Ocean School District was advised by the Department of Education, the Executive County Superintendent of Schools, and the Executive County School Business Administrator that the district should proceed status quo in the formulation of its budget, and that it should continue to include tax monies apportioned to the Village of Lock Harbor. And whereas the Township of Ocean School District followed the directives of the Department of Education and County Office, and whereas the Village of Lock Harbor has subsequently refused to pay school taxes to the Township of Ocean School District, and whereas the Lock Arbor Board of Education has entered into tuition contracts for the Village of Lock Arbor students to attend West Long Branch or Shore Regional High School, and whereas the Township of Ocean School District has appealed the decision of the Acting Commissioner of, the, of Education, allowing the formation of the Lock Arbor Board of Education to the Appellate Division of the Superior Court and is awaiting adjudication, and whereas the Township of Ocean School District, District has been advised that multiple pupils domiciled in Lock Arbor wish to continue to attend the Township of Ocean School District, and whereas the issue of the attendance of Lock Arbor domiciled student pupils for the 2017-2018 school year must be addressed by this Board of Education. Should not really be. Yeah. 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 Well, I think that was the original. We just keep adding to this. The original 1718, and then 1819 comes up. We have right. whiteout, right? We can, yeah, you're yeah, kind of right. adding yeah. from start of 1718. Great. Okay. I'm not starting over. Let's just say the next school year. Whereas, despite the formation of the Lock Arbor Board of Education, it is the will and desire of the Township of Ocean School District that any Lock Arbor do domicile pupil may attend Township of Ocean Schools during the pendency of the litigation between Township of Ocean District and Lock Arbor, and further that Township of Ocean Schools will not seek tuition for such attendance from the involved pupils' parents slash guardians, and 
whereas the Township of Ocean School District reserves the right to pursue and collect the applicable tuition amounts from the village of Lock Arbor according to the statutory funding formula. Now, therefore, be it resolved that for the 2018-2019 school year, any Lock Arbor domicile pupil may attend Township of Ocean School during the pendency of litigation between Township of Ocean School District and Lock Arbor, and further that Township of Ocean Schools will not seek tuition for such attendance from the involved pupils, parents, or guardians, and be it further resolved that the Township of Ocean School District reserves the right to pursue this duplicate count and collect the applicable <laughs> tuition amounts from the village of Lock Arbor according to the statutory <laughs> funding formula, and be it, resolved, be it further resolved that the superintendent, business administrator, and district's professional staff shall take all actions necessary to effectuate the purpose and intent of this resolution. Way too many whereas's for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The attorney that Can I have a second? It's Whereas votes, second. It's votes. There you go. Again. I'm sorry, who is this? I'm sorry. Mr. 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 Please call the roll. Okay. Mr. Clayton. Yes, I am one through four, and I accuse myself on number five, Jim and Mike Clune, with the State Department of Education. This is just Okay. This is, uh, yeah, this is items two through four. The, uh, yeah. Number one is just a, uh, just informational item. Okay. Two through f uh, five are action items. Correct. So uh, two through four was a yes, and you recuse yourself on number five. Okay. Yes. Mr. Dietrich. Yes. Mr. Fuller. Yes. Mr. Howden. Yes. Dr. Marshall. Yes. Mr. McGovern. Yes. Mr. Parlamas. Yes. And Mr. Palutis. Yes. Okay. Of the two through five, carry. Thank you, Mr. Dietrich. You did so well with that. Would you mind doing technology committee for <laughs> Why not? Let's do it. We have two items, Mr. President. The first is a, uh, a move to approve the purchase of 540 Dell Chromebook 5190 series. They include the four year warranty on site pro service support with licensing and case promotion computer group in the amount of $188,935.20 per the attached quote. And the second item is to approve the uh, purchase of equipment from Cortel Business Solutions in the amount of $51,540.60 for the phone system at Wayside Elementary School, including installation, configuration, training, and testing for the attached quote. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. General, please call the roll. Mr. Clayton. Yes. Mr. Diedrich. Yes. Mr. Fuller. Yes. Mr. Hatton. Yes. Dr. Marshall. Yes. Mr. McGovern. Yes. Uh, Mr. Parlamas. Yes. And Mr. Palutis. Yes. Okay, the motion carries. Motion Thank, is carried. Thank you, Mr. Dietrich. You're welcome, Mr. President. At this time, is there any old business from the board? At this time, is there any new business from the board? At this time, we will conduct our second public comment. Anyone from the public like to make a comment at this time? That being said, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Can I have a second? Second. Whereas, um, I'm thinking this July 4th, you're bringing me a Welcome back. Thank you. Do you want me to email it to you or do you want me to print it? What's convenient? It's easier if you'd rather have a hard copy, I'll go print for you. Paper or email. Which is even better for you? Then I'll, e then I'll email it to you tomorrow. Or tonight, I'll email it to you. Whatever they gave it to me in, so. Let's go up. Okay. Yeah. So whatever he gave it to me in, I'm not sure. I don't know if I remember how he gave it to me. Thank you.